We should talk about the web. We should talk about the web. And I have plans for the web. Ooh. Ooh. So I wrote a blog post. Good. Good start. I, I, I did not squeeze it into a tweet, even though we have twice as many characters now. Oh, I, yes. I, like, I needed yeah. a little bit more explanation. And I was the, the entire the event that sparked this interest is a colleague telling me that there's iPad Pros and that these iPad Pros run at 120 hertz. 100. That's double, that's double the normal number. 60 which is times 60. 2. So yeah, mm. most devices that we have worked with so far run at 60 frames a second or at 60 hertz. Right, because it, I, I remember in the days of like CRT monitors, you used to get quite a variance of yeah, it went from like 24 hertz, 30, 50, um, 60. Yeah, I mean for a computer monitor, you would tend to run at 60, 75, 100. Like oh yeah, right. Because because the, the higher the refresh rate, the less flicker. The, yeah, the less eye bad it was. <laughs> Um, <laughs> on the scale so of zero to iPad, it's like how <laughs> how long can you watch it before you're you know tears of blood, that sort of thing. But then once the CRTs went away, everything just sixty, sixty across the board. Laptops, yeah. like t TVs can do it differently because uh, well, yeah, they TV. want to synchronize the frame rates. Yeah. But because also twenty four, you know, it's not a six is a multiple of twenty four, which is sometimes an issue. Right. And Americans TV run at fifty. American TV runs at sixty. European runs at 50? European runs at 50. Why? Just look, sorry, just allow me to remove my screen. I, I, think, I, I think I just tapped into your, into your I, I, specialty. I've really, uh, I've done a lot of, I did a, a bit about this in a talk a few years ago, and I, so I did a lot of research into it. Yeah, it was all based around the uh, power frequency. Yeah, exactly. It could just sync using the waveform of the power supply. So uh, 50 hertz here, 50 hertz in a lot of Europe, uh, 60 hertz in America, and a couple okay. of other places, I think. So. But yes, we all, we all decided, as often happens, we'll just go, oh, we'll go with the American thing, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's a, pff, I mean, 60 sounds better than 50, whatever, we'll do that. Which, like, why would we take something that is a nice part of 100? Let's go with 60. Let's go, and here's the thing. If we went with 50, if we went with 50, we would all have more time on our frame budgets, right? <laughs> We were, like, yes. A, a significant amount of time longer to get a frame together. Yeah, but, but no. four milliseconds more. I, exactly. Um, but, but that's but not the case. That's not the case. So, and that's basically the thing. Like, everything has been 60. But now we're going to have even less time. The, well, kind of, yes. If, if you want to make use of the 120 hertz, yes. But the problem is that because every device has been running at 60, mm -hmm. 60 has somewhat become an implicit assumption. Right. So yes. a lot of there, there, there is a good amount of code out there that doesn't actually consider how much time has elapsed since the last frame. Who would write such code? I don't know, Jake. Who would write such code? So yes. So on on Twitter, we were talking about this because because this was this was from like a, a, an Apple engineer. Uh, the well, so the thing is, I I I looked at the iPad Pros mm -hmm. and looked at 120 hertz, and I was like, this is amazing. This looks so good. It actually mm -hmm. makes a difference, which I was. Honestly, a bit surprised by. I was dubious whether you could notice mm -hmm. a difference, but uh, yep, you, you, the, if you, you can. It makes sense can. because you, if you think about, you have 60 frames a second, especially with fast motions. You have more in between images, which mm -hmm. will make motion blur seem much more real. Yes. Instead of having like three individual pictures from A to B, you will have now six. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, double, double that. And so um, it makes more. Your brain will think even more. It's an actual motion. And so I was asking, what's the plan? Like your RAF on the iPad still right. runs at 60. Request animation frame, my assumption would be you would get a request animation frame 120 times a second. And you do not. And you do not. You get 60. You get 60. And that made me sad. Because yes. that basically meant whenever you were using a f animation framework that does that JavaScript animation with JavaScript, mm -hmm. which I think at least parts of GreenSock, for example, do, you wouldn't get the 120 FPS. Yes. Uh, and I, I tweeted at one of the Safari engineers saying, like you know, why is this? And I think they were saying like, oh well, we're worried about like legacy code that assumes 60 frames a second. And I was like, come on, probably not a big deal. Probably not a big deal. Who does that? And uh, they sent me back one of my Canvas examples from four years ago, admittedly. But still, but still shame uh, on you. Shame. So that's on something. Me. Um, so CSS animations don't have this issue. No, they don't, because you are CSS by the very nature of CSS is declarative. So either right. you use CSS transitions, where you say, go from A to B in one second. It yep. doesn't care about 
frame rate. You don't, same, get, you don't get visibility into every frame. So Same with CSS animations. Mm -hmm. Same with web animations API, which right. Safari is working on. It's now behind a flag, so you can start using it, which is really cool. Oh, oh I did not know that. But yeah, if you use these technologies, the animations will run at 120 frames per second. And that's really cool. So what's the answer here for request animation frame? What can we, what can we do? How can we get that <sighs> to? Is it, it's going to have to be opt-in. It, it's my fault. It's going to have to be opt-in. <sighs> but then even that demo I did, it was some snow. Snow fell. And so on 120 hertz, snow falls twice as fast. It's just a blizzard. It's fine. <laughs> we, it, we can gloss over that. Exactly. And then even if we solve that, assuming we have a raft on 120 hertz now, we still have a problem. Because as you said, we have twice the frame rate, and that means less, half the budget. Less time to do it in. And so with some quick math in my head, I will tell you okay. that you were running at, you would have an 8 millisecond budget per frame. That is half of 16, which we currently have. Yes. Exactly. Right. But the problem is that the work the browser has to do stays fixed. And I think right about now, it's safe to say it's between 4 and 6 milliseconds. Right. On a desktop machine. I mean, it might change. You know, your mileage may vary. But that hmm. means on 60 FPS, you still have way more than half left. Because let's say that you have six, the browser needs 6 milliseconds. You have 10 left. Right. On 120 FPS, you have 2 left. Oh, that's not a lot of time. That, that is not a <laughs> oh, lot of my time. Word. Yeah. Um, and so there's, of course, there's work for the browser to do optimizations to only do work when it's really necessary, to make the things that have to happen really fast, hmm. things that the browser can optimize. But also, I think the ecosystem needs to change. It needs to look into moving, writing things in a way that they yield often to the browser, mm -hmm. that you can, uh, they can basically do, here is my little chunks of work. And every, whenever you need to ship a frame in between, here's the points where you can do that. So request idle callback becomes even more important. Even as more a, as important. A tool. Right. And the, th the second tool that you have and that not very many people use is web workers, where you can spin up an actual separate thread and do work in there. And you can block in there. You can do all kinds of work. The main yep. thread won't care and will stay responsive. So something to prepare for in 2018? Definitely. I think there's an opportunity to, to if we did have a go for another function name, I think there's an opportunity to rename request animation frame to something a little bit more meaningful. Yeah, it's like, not the best name, is it? Like, yeah, so if it was like before render. I request an animation frame. It, right. 